Brisbane, Australia, May 3, Tom Opasik of the Broncos is tackled during the Round 9 NRL match between the Brisbane Broncos and the Canterbury Bulldogs at Suncorp Stadium on May 3, 2018 in Brisbane, Australia. Photo by Bradley Canaris, Getty Images, Will Billy Slater play? Much has been said regarding Billy Slater's Grade 1 shoulder charge offense which has him in doubt for next Sunday's NRL Grand Final. In the act of saving a try, Slater did what he had to do. The 35-year-old, who still remains the premier fullback in the competition, had a split second to brace for impact and do what he had to, to avoid serious injury to himself. Another thing which has seemingly passed fans by is the interpretation of what a shoulder charges since the ban on the tackle was introduced a few years ago. Overzealous policing of the tackle has become common nature. Formerly, a shoulder charge was the defender setting his feet firm and raising his shoulder as to enhance the damage to your opponent. This was not the type of tackle Billy Slater made in saving the try. Grand final tip it will be a close one, if Cooper Croc plays. If not, it'll be the storm by plenty. Luke Keery, despite winning a grand final previously in 2014, just won't be able to control a game by himself assuming the untested, in high-pressure situations at least, Mitch Cornish is his halves partner. See also, Panthers re-sign Cleary on long-term extension in his last game, Billy Slater is my tip to earn the Clive Churchill medal. Otherwise, expect Cameron Smith to take home the one achievement that has eluded him his whole career. But causing a buzz working and studying in the field of journalism, I always felt the need to respect those who have done this for a long time, Bill, Buzz, Rothfield included. His antics in season 2018 have become too much however with a veteran journalist making jokes about rape, ratting out the Canterbury Club on Mad Monday, his constant whinging of the referees and complaints about the state of the current game. He disrespects his followers on social media by labeling them trolls and even got George Rose sacked from his job as an NRL ambassador on the social media platform recently. I don't recall one positive story coming from Buzz this season. The Daily Telegraph desperately needs to follow the same structure as the Courier Mail, the Australian and every other sports reporting news entity in the country by getting rid of these so-called crisis merchants and signing on journalists who love the game of rugby league and don't focus on the negativity. As Telegraph readers lose interest, let's see what they provide us consumers this grand final week. See also, reports, Raiders chasing Storm halfback North Queensland signing spree The North Queensland Cowboys have been holding off on announcing key signings until the season ends. Fans should expect to hear news in the weeks following this year's grand final. Amongst the signings expected to be confirmed are Ben Barba, Tom Opasik along with the re-signings of Ethan Lowe and Justin O'Neill as the club continues to pursue Queensland origin duo Valentine Holmes and Cameron Munster. The club has also been busy in the marketplace as they look to add a front row or two to the roster next season with Charlie Gubb amongst the names being discussed. With injuries to Matthew Scott and Jordan McLean this season, prop is a position the club sees as a priority to stock up on. Another player the club is keeping a close eye on is New Zealand utility Jazz Tavaga. The club is also interested in Joe off a hangout but are also aware it's only a pipe dream at this point with the Auckland-born 22-year-old catching the eye of a number of clubs this season after an impressive string of performances towards the back end of the season.